Yeah, I'm not, uh, like I said, I, I don't uh, actually know what I'm looking for here. I haven't looked it up. Um, trial by Spire or a new challenger appears. Probably, maybe that second one. Uh, I, I fully admit, um, I uh, didn't pay much attention to it. I was too distracted by the uh, fact that, okay, tell me, you know, okay, here, like, chat, look at, look at, look at me. Tell me that does not look like a giant graphics card. Okay? Like, look at it. Okay? Look, look at all the fans, look at all the whatever, like, okay, it wasn't lit up before, but, um, okay, what, uh... Eilish Stranger. You're, you're that evil-ass, you're that evil-ass Lollafell that was on the, uh, was on the TV, I think. Um, looking eagerly about, okay. Hi. I found you at last. Born to be a star. I don't like this. Introduce myself. Matem, head for head of strategic management at Ascension Arcadia, the premier enterprise for entertainment in Solution 9. Yep. Okay. That shit eating that shit eating Lollafell grin isn't helping any when uh, you know, I keep saying that Lollos are evil. Um like shift facility is the Arcadian Combat Arena. Oh, so that's oh yeah, the RTX nine thousand. Yeah. Um there that we host the Ascension Arcadia Championship AAC. Okay. Uh Pinnacle for Fighters in Alexandria. And I want you to be among them. May have heard circumstances had forced us to close the arena's doors. It's time, right time to reopen them? Okay. Tragic passing left our citizens desolate. Or, oh. Disconsolate. Uh, I'm not sure what the word that word is, but um, by providing them... With gripping entertainment, it is our hope uh, to help them forget their cares and troubles. To accomplish that, however, uh, it will not do to show them what they have seen countless times before. No, they need something new. Someone new. Okay. Who better uh, than she who not only protected our citizens from the king's army, but struck down the king himself? That was you, yes? Why do I just admit that? <laughs> I don't know if this guy actually likes that. Like, uh, so it was, so it was. And so, for your strength and valor, the precedent. Uh, precedent? Oh, the president of the Federation has marked you to be the Arcadian's next great star. Just imagine it an upstart, the people's protector, arrives on the scene, challenges the Arcadian's mightiest. To rise up as grand champion, what could be more gripping? I ask you. Um, I have a few thoughts, but for your part, you will naturally be well compensated. The finest equipment Solution Nine has to offer awaits you after each and every victory. Okay. I dare say this has you enticed, uh, but you need to make up your mind right away if you are keen to test your strength and win rich rewards and come to the Arcadian at the end of the venue. Okay, so the raid is right there. Work to a favorable response. I still think he's evil. Like, I, I can't, I can't not see it. Like, all of, the, all of them. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's racist against Lala's, but you know what? I, I'll, I'll stick to it.
Okay, I accepted the quest. Expecting you, if you'd follow me, take you in. Sure. What's the worst that happens? Okay. But as I take it, you'll fight in the Arcadian. First to welcome you into the fold. Now then I shall explain to you. Oh. Hi. Got some fight in you, I suppose. Okay. You can only be so strong without a soul shifter. You wouldn't last long against any of us. Well, aren't you just a treat? I look forward to meeting you on stage. What the hell? Why did a heart appear when she winked at me? The hell was that? Puny candle before my roaring flame. Uh, make it to me and I'll blast you out of the ring. Did he have grenades strapped to his chest? Is he okay? Some of the fighters you will face, they are all ahem characters, uh, as you can see. Uh, but I hope you do not take offense to their words. Consider it their way of welcoming you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, as I have mentioned, uh, the Ascension Arcadia Championship is a fighting competition. The realm's mightiest uh, duke it out in a bid to become the grand champion. No doubt that all of all Alexandrians would be captivated by your journey as a challenger and cheer, uh, cheer you on as you fight your way up the ranks. And speaking of ranked fighters of Arcadian are divided into three tiers. Light heavyweight, cruiser weight, and heavyweight. Okay. That's boxing terms, I believe. I'm not sure if that's also, like, wrestling terms, because I don't think they kind of have that, but... Ultimate objective is to become the undisputed champion in all, t all the tiers, hereby rise up to the rank of grand champion. Okay. Rookie, your campaign begins in the light heavy heavyweight tier uh, where you must defeat your three rivals uh, three rivals ranked there in okay gracious me I almost forgot to mention the most important thing as its own repository of feral souls which our fighters utilize in battle okay see that was kind of important um, so potent are these souls, they alter uh, the fighter's very forms, lest you wonder. Uh, it is the potency of the souls employed uh, that separates the championship's three tiers. Okay. Given to I'm given to understand you don't use a regulator. Uh, even when you face the king, you do not rely on souls of any kind. That's the most impressive indeed. Be that as it may, it would be egre it would be egregiously unfair for you to compete with not uh, to balance the scales. The Arcadian, uh, we have the souls of former champions in storage. Oh, okay, so that's how they're going to explain uh, how I get uh, how I get friends. Okay. Um. Use them to create allies to fight alongside you. Uh, and to make sure they work uh, with you like a well-oiled machine, will draw upon your memories to fine-tune their appearance and abilities to your liking. Okay. Uh, 
My, such marvelous magics exist in your world. Intriguing. Electrope is the medium employed here, but I dare say it is similar in bringing forth a temporary simulacrum. Yeah, see, this doesn't seem like, you know, that they have memories and stuff like that, right? So that's why I was going to say it doesn't seem quite like the Endless. Um, uh, purposes of evening the odds, I believe seven of these simulacrums should suffice. What do you think? Okay. Souls in your repository should be set free. Uh, hmm. I mean, both of these are kind of the same thing. Um, I'm going to say this part, I guess. Um, hmm. I had expected that you might harbor reservations about the use of souls. Uh, those who hail from outside the barrier often do. So I have a proposal and a, an additional incentive, if you will, for each victory you claim. I shall release the souls of those who fought beside you. Oh. Be the star who brings, for, who brings fresh change to the Arcadian. What do you say? Are you willing to fight under those terms? Okay. Seems like too good to be true, though. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm sort of waiting for the other shoe to drop. I don't think it'll happen now, but um, excellent. Now, I would tell you more about the Arcadian, but let's save it for after your first bout. After all, it'll be pointless if you end up losing straight away. Thanks. I promise only to die a lot in the face. Okay. Usually welcome you as a challenger of the Arcadian. When you're ready to take to the arena, you need to say the word. Okay. He matches the Ascension Championship. Earn valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment speaking with... Okay. Someone in Solution 9. Okay. Oh, the Claw in the Dark. Ready, rest assured, here to guide you in the beginning. Okay. Uh. Oh. Another cutscene. First opponent, pray, look at the monitor. Okay. I'm fighting you first, okay. Here is Black Cat, feared as the claw in the dark. That's right. Uh, she's the one who took your measure earlier. Uh, while she's still a rookie herself, uh, you'd be wise not to underestimate her. She has real talent. Expect it to go far. Uh, her feral soul is Kath. Pollug, a terrible feline said to have pushed a legendary hero to its to his limits. I'm not familiar. Oh, this power shall become unimaginably nimble, and her very claws can rend steel. You'll need to keep your wits about you. Uh, know that the ring is uniquely configured to complement the fighting style of your foes. Thanks. Um. This is in order to provide the audience with a spectacle, after all. Uh, we're first and foremost a business of entertainment. Thanks. I'm glad my safety is your first, your utmost concern. Uh, on a similar note, I should mention uh, that I'm also the commentator from your matches. Leave it to me to squeeze every drop of excitement out of your fight. Um, now then, best seat your preparations. Emerge victorious. Okay. We're... Uh, we're just about there, chat. <laughs> Am I going to be allowed to actually do this? And survey says. Okay. Uh, Uh, where am I? Here. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, that was fast. Um, okay. Always put that in there. Okay, so what are we? Yeah. A rookie on the rise with razor sharp claws. The ferocious feline, Black Cat. Those look dangerous. What? I hope you're ready to be ripped to shreds. Uh oh, okay. That one didn't cast cuz Yeah, this isn't bad so far. Try this. Ink this now while I get a chance. Happen there. Um, please bear with us while we repair the room. Going up. Uh, where should I be standing? Here? God, okay, it's my fault. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I don't have any spells painted. Okay, am I on the wrong side here? It's, it's... Yep. Okay. Okay, I dislike that. Nah, I'm gonna go. Okay, I was about to say, I think I'm going down here. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Woo, okay! <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Pointed slightly different uh, direction wise, I would have made it. Damn. <laughs> Oh god! What the? Might as well say, yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Which is fine. I just don't have enough health. Uh, I don't know what is... Ah! Yeah, I'm probably going down again. Yep. <laughs> about to say, yeah, I think I'm going down again. Yep. Yeah, part of the problem is there's a lot of, uh, like, AoE damage in this fight, so, like, most of the time, I get up, die, and then just fall down again, right? Like, oh my god, I can't tell what's going on.
out. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Oh, pardon me. Nice. Yeah, that was neat. I kind of would have liked if it uh, gave me more than one of those things, because I don't know that... Um, simply magnificent out there. Uh, President's eye for talent as keen as ever. Uh, yeah, before I forget, um, I don't know that, like, one of those things is good for anything, so, you know what I mean? Like, um, first victory, tell you more about the Arcadian, okay. Time in Alexandria, uh, long before the coming of the Turali people, okay. Very different beginning, though, uh, with matches pitting, uh, recreated simu simulacra against each other. Oh, Very same, uh, the fought at your side, uh, but with the advent of soul-derived resuscitation, battles to the death between living combatants became the norm, and all without actual deaths. Contest evolved once more after Zeralja was made king. It was he who proposed the use of feral souls to enhance one's flesh, uh, leading to the technology for it being devised. Oh. So it was that combatants took the power and likeness of beasts. And the audience experienced newfound heights of excitement. When Zeraljar raised the banners of war uh, to embark on his conquest, all feral souls were reserved for the army's use. We had no choice but to suspend. Oh, okay, so that makes more sense now. Uh, what happened afterwards, I believe you know, having gone mad, vanquished by your hands, and shortly thereafter, our beloved queen was taken from us. Okay. Yeah, the Red Queen was pretty evil. In poor taste to resume the championship now of all times. Uh, but it is now most of all that the people need cheering up. Yeah, and as I mentioned when we first spoke, uh, we wish to help them forget their cares. Did you see how the audience roared at you? The upstart challenger triumphing over a rising rookie. Uh, you've captured their imagination. Wasn't even using a feral soul. What are you? I have beaten gods. Damn it all. I can't leave things like this. Would you mind if I watched you for a while? Don't worry. I don't have any hard feelings. I'm just curious. That's all. What a, uh, about what you can do? Be my guest. I beat someone and now have a fan? Pickle is a feline, that one, but I do hope you won't uh, hold it against her. Deep down, she has a good heart. Uh... I go direct hit? I don't know. Um, sweet poison. Although unexpected company has appeared, I'm going to focus on the match ahead. Okay. Introduce your next opponent.
Honey be lovely. The darling of Arcadian. Just like a K-pop idol or VTuber. Just... Ugh. <laughs> Uh, as you can note, I guess she utilizes the soul of a bee, and an extremely venomous one at that, but rather than her poison, you should be wary of her ability to charm all before her. Uh -huh. In addition to her winsome charm, which has served her well as a songstress, she can produce a pheromone of a queen bee that enthralls even her foes. You fall under her spell, delight in the torment she unleashes upon them. Okay. Why the audience will be spectating uh, via special contraptions cloaked in holograms. Oh, gee, thanks. Sure, there's nothing lovely about her, despite what she claims. You're in for a bad time. Great. Uh, I have faith that you will prevail. Sally Force, show us your medal, okay? Well, as long as this uh, doesn't require too much higher of an item level, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, I have to keep uh, keep teleporting and uh, you know buying new outfits just to uh, keep going here. This little... I was just about to say this one's uh, taking longer. Okay, here we go. I don't know how easy this one will be, but it'll feel really good when we, uh, when we finish and then we can, uh, you know, not have to deal with the K-pop idol anymore. <laughs> I hate it. This darling with a sting. The adorable. Oh, hello. Sweet, but poisonous. Honey, be lovely. Why does she have stingers on her hair? Like I said, I hate it. I have sustained damage. Oh god! How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? <sighs> Be what? Oh my god, what? <laughs> now to savor the sweet sting of honeybee's charms. Oh, she's definitely feeling your love. Uh just the irresistible. I know I can't. Okay. Uh... 
Ну. Okay, good to know. Oh god, that looks bad. I'll make you mine. Got a bit of a southern bell. Uh, ah! What's our stinger with poison? What's that mean? Ow! <laughs> yeah, ow! Ow! Uh, I have a feeling I need to move. <laughs> mean to alarm you gang I can't do a lot of damage if I can't stand still um I move? What happened? Oh, well, I got vulnerability up from something. Ow! <laughs> Hammer time! Okay, I don't think I can avoid that.
sweets still of honeybee's charms. Oh, she's definitely feeling your love. Can the challenger resist the irresistible? I know I can't. Hey, things seem to be going okay. That. Ah! Okay, yeah, those explode. Okay. <laughs> I got a vulnerability stack or something. B is for brilliant. Uh, I lost all my paintings. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> okay, I could not see that happening. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. No, nope, don't stand in that. Oh, that'll help. Okay, never mind. Um Oh I'm uh yeah, I was saying I'm super dead. Okay. Um 
Uh, yeah, this phase is really hard if you start getting hit. Um... Yeah, this one's a lot harder than the first one. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, probably also a lot harder on healers, too. Um... Like, I, I kind of feel bad for the healers. in this one, just because there seems to be a lot of unavoidable damage coming out. Oh, this, this face fucking sucks. I am glad I'm dead for this. <laughs> Hammer time! Hammer time! Yep. <laughs> it's about to say that was gonna be close. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I don't want to do that one again. Um, that one's a lot harder, especially on... Um, uh, I'm, like I said, especially it seems like... On... But yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm probably not going to ever bother doing that one again. I don't like that fight. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's... It's a lot of unavoidable damage, and then there's a lot of... Uh, um, yeah, it just seems hard on healers, and I don't want to put people through that consistently. What a performance that was. I knew you could do it, my friend. I think you'd actually manage to take Honeybee down. You're the real deal. I'm happy I did. It's annoying. Um, this victory, you're now eligible to challenge the reigning champion of the light, uh, heavy lightweight division. And as eager as I am for you to claim that crown, it will take some time to make arrangements for the match. Find yourself a second that is someone uh, who supports you by gathering information on your opponents and giving you advice on your training. Please let me do it. 
Those who lose aren't allowed to fight for a while, so I'm free. Uh, but above all, I'd like to see the person who uh, defeated me uh, defeat everyone else, too. Fighter, I suppose you would know your opponents better than most. Willing? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? It's the worst that could happen. Now, if I'm to be your second, you ought to know my real name. Uh, Yana. Look forward to working with you. Okay. Those eyes are really interesting that she's got. Those, like, rainbow eyes. Uh, let's head to my gym. It's a bit messy, but far more comfortable than this trivial place. Thing right in hand. I'll excuse myself. See you again when it's time for the match. It's gonna take the direct hit. I don't know what stat I'm supposed to be using. I don't care. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't even put materia in my gear because um, I just don't know what I what I should be putting in it. So I just kind of don't worry about it. Um, follow me. Jim isn't too far from here. Okay. Okay, but I'm sure it's not as glamorous as the RTX 9000. Oh, I have become very popular. Fighter who does, uh, doesn't use a regulator. Yeah? Not only fight, but win without using a feral soul. You're absolutely amazing. Cheering for you from now on. I saw you in the ring. You're the hero who protected us from the soldiers. Win your next match to just know it. Well, don't, don't, yeah, don't count on it. Heartless fiend, how dare you embarrass sweet honeybee like that? She deserves it. She's bad and she should feel bad. <laughs> Enjoy this feeling while well, you can, new blood. You'll be begging for mercy come to your next match. I did not realize how popular I had become. Fans are quite riled up today. I understand the need to let out their frustration, but I wish they could find a more productive ways to use that energy. Hmm. Do excuse me, I'm something of a storyteller, and I have a keen interest in seeing how this championship unfolds. Uh, when you have a moment, I would love to ask you a few questions. Black Cat, what are you doing? Keeping company with the last who just beat you. It's probably why you lost. You're... Oh, you don't have any pride, hmm. Much rather watch your sister fight. Uh, nobody put on a show like Wicked Thunder. Ooh. This is never ending, let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, let's say. I have become very, very popular. Um, I'm guessing G the genial fan might actually be uh, the person running things. If I had to guess, but quick, I'll put on a fake mustache. They'll never know it's me. Managed to slip away. Come on, the gym's just over here. If you ask me to lift weights, I'm leaving. Tritail's training, one of Alexandria's finest fighters, said, I'm uh, the only one here at the moment. Also, oh, it's also my actual home. The first floor is where I live, and the basement is where I train. It's not don't be shy, make yourself comfortable. Okay? Our relationship is moving very quickly. No, there's weights and stuff up out. <laughs> oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you, miss. My name is 
Nini, thank you very much for looking after my sister. Thinking you're knocking me out, are you? It says you may have pieced together two sisters. Okay, I was about to say, um, this one seems a little small for fighting. Um, otherwise I'd have more questions for the evil Lala. But uh, I know they're gone now. Our parents were originally from Tyrol. Oh. Uh, they happened to be in Yasuani when the dome appeared and ended up trapped. To work as hunters. Uh, but they were always opposed to regulators and never wore them. One day, no, and never came back. Became interested in you because you remind me of our parents. Like them, you're averse to using souls. We, on the other hand, uh, don't see such a problem with the practice. That's what our sister's urging. We started wearing regulators after mother and father died. It's only because we weren't wearing regulators. Oh, they weren't wearing regulators when they passed that we can still remember them. Uh, whether we're better or worse, for, worse off for it, I can't say. Too little to understand when it happened, but I've heard the story from my sisters. When I see you fight, I can't help but feel anxious. I say this knowing your stance, but once you consider wearing a regulator in the matches... If only to revive yourself should the worst come to pass. Nope. Can't change people's minds when it comes to soul use, Naomi. It's a question of culture and upbringing. And talk about such things. Celebrate. You've won two championship matches now. Calls for drinks. We've only got energy tonics, but it's a gesture that counts, right? Celebrating even though you lost. Oh my god, she's gonna give me an energy drink? Wait, did you give that kid one? Oh my god, wait, how many of these have I had? I'm never going to sleep again. <laughs> so that delightful fan outside earlier, I imagine you're curious about my sister. Her name is Eutrope. Rose to be a top contender in the heavyweight division. Uh, she became a fighter. Uh, look after me and Nayuni first and foremost, but it turned out she was great at it. Oh, okay. Hardly surprising, I suppose. She always excelled anything she set her mind on. Natural at combat. And on top of that, she mastered how to wield Electrope. Ooh. Hold on. I've just the thing. Uh, uh. Oh my god, they have TV. Hi. Kit Thunder was her ring name. Uh, she harnessed the Levin Steed soul in conjunction with Electrope and could shapeshift to adapt uh, to her enemies in battle. Confident enough in what I can do, uh, Eutrope herself taught me uh, how to fight, but I could never emulate her fighting style. You shouldn't try, though. Thing is, she just disappeared one day without saying a word to us. She was so close to being immortalized, too. Uh, what? Right, you wouldn't know. All Arcadian fighters retire young. Feral soul transfiguration is just too much of a burden on the body. Uh, those who fight uh, oh, to the age of 20 are immortalized. In the Ascension Arcadia Hall of Fame. Uh, this comes with the privilege of moving to the luxury residence on Ever Keeps Upper Floor, where they say they can live their days in comfort. Uh oh. Uh, threw all of that away when she vanished. I can't, I just can't wrap my head around why. Uh, I have a few, a, a few notions. 
enough reminiscing for now. Can't be long before your next match. Let's head back to the Arcadian. Okay, well, considering I've had enough energy drinks to last me a lifetime. Aaron, please be careful. It's all right. I only died like, what, four or five times the last fight? Like, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I just gotta pay. I just gotta pay my healers well enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep get, taking Heaven's Eye materia, I guess. Vile Heat. Next fight, you'll become the champion of the light heavyweight division. Give it everything you've got. Okay. So who's the fourth fight it against then? Are there only three fights? A lot of these tiers were usually four fights each, but oh, well, take a look at your opponent. Wait, those. Oh, those are okay. That there, I regret to say, is the reigning uh, light heavyweight champion, Brute Bomber. Wait, those were bombs. <laughs> the might of the bomb king to ignite all that he touches uh, uh but that'll be the least of your worries he's a dirty fighter who'll do anything and everything to win the rules be damned countless of his opponents uh had to be carried to the infirmary okay well Uh, but you'll be fine, I'm sure. If you bested me, you can beat for your power. Okay. Blast that loathsome lout out of, uh, out of his own ring and right back to the new champion. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get into this fight. Okay, I don't know. Um, I'll figure that out later. Comments. Okay. Um... Okay. I'll blow you to smithereens. The proof bomber has muffled his way into the ring. Uh, okay. Don't think I'm making it. Nope, made it. Nice. Hammer time! Uh... Um, okay. Okay, that, that wasn't really clear where I should be standing. I, I'm not a fan of that, but, um...
Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, that would explain it. God damn it! Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't take. Huh. I can't lose. I won't. Oh god. Okay, I'm <laughs> Wow, this... that face looks brutal. <laughs> Stop hurting me, damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not I'm not a super big fan of this fight. Um there's a lot going on a lot of the time and it makes it difficult to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. The fuck does that mean? Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to take that. Um... Okay. <laughs> oh my. The challenger went down hard. Yeah, I can't really tell what's going on with the boss most of the time. Um... He has a buff on him as well. I don't know what that's from. I hope it's not from me dying a lot. But, like, yeah, it... it um... Yeah, I don't, uh, I, I'll say I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, it's like I said, there's this, uh, this is another one of those fights where there's just tons of fucking AoEs that just make this really brutal. Um... Oh god, yeah, like... <laughs> I don't like this fight. <laughs> Uses are ignited. Where am I supposed to fucking stand? Like... <laughs> oh my god. 
Fuck off. <laughs> there's so many mechanics where you can't... Like, there's no clear indication where you're supposed to stand. It's really annoying. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, and I mean, I'm not just saying this because I keep dying. It's just, it's really unclear what you're supposed to do, right? Especially when it's like, I spawned nine bombs. All of them look the same. But then randomly, like, you know, I guess a few of them decide not to explode. Like, it's just really fucking annoying. Um, yeah, it, this this one I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, um, if I do the, if I uh, do whatever's on my own, I'm not going to. Uh, it's all over. Uh, I'm not ever gonna bother. Uh, um, doing this one again, it's not worth my time. But yeah, uh, like I said, um, this one I probably, uh, this one and the second one I'm not gonna ever bother doing again. They, uh, um, they do not. Uh, or I do not enjoy them at all. Um, really did it, even though you beat me. Astounding what you can do without a feral soul. Being a ceremony officially crowned you champion. All and sundry will be watching. Make sure you wear something you won't regret. Uh, sure, that one. Takes up less inventory space that way. Okay. Hello, citizens. Gather. Uh, we are gathered to recognize a new champion in the Arcadia and a rising star who shot to the top of the uh, of the light heavyweight division at breakneck speed. Yes. So without further ado, warm welcome to the woman of the hour. Stoppable upstart, the unenhanced but unbeatable, the one and only is, uh, me. Yep, cheer for me, damn it. Bird bomber, hold it right there. You again? Victory was a farce and I refuse to accept it. Unsatisfied with the outcome of the match? Ugh. With eight of you, how is that fair? Let's settle this one on one, just you and me. Talk about fair. Uh, if it's supposed to be one on one, fight without your bloody bomb king. I make the rules in here. Oh, he's got his speedo and everything. That's really funny. Uh oh. Alright. What in the world just happened? Oh, hey, sister's back. Tro. It's Wicked Thunder, the heavyweight uh, fighter who suddenly vanished, has returned. I will have your soul. Prepare yourself. Nah, it's okay. I like it where it is, thanks. Just challenge the unstoppable upstart. Okay, that explains what fight four is. So I wish to bear witness to their clash. Wicked Thunder's license was revoked upon her disappearance, unable to sanction such a match. Right. 
for rating voice. Intriguing. Most intriguing. It's the president. Special exhibition match. Prepare Wicked Thunder's ring and prepare yourself upstart. You heard it, folks. By permission of the president, match will be held. Who will emerge victorious? Uh... Neoteric Witch or the Unenhanced Warrior. I don't know if that that's a good description. Um, this is an event you won't, can't afford to miss. Okay. It's got a decent outfit, though. So, what are your thoughts? Where have you been and why have you come back now? Sorry, it's just I wasn't prepared to see my sister like that. That's a shame your big moment was spoiled. Uh, but now that the match has been decided, there's nothing for it to be, but to prepare. As former heavyweight fighter, uh, your trope is more than a cut above every uh, everyone you've faced thus far. Even so, uh, having seen how uh, quickly you've climbed up the ranks to become champion, I reckon you're far from overmatched. As Neuni mentioned, you trope, or rather Wicked Thunder, harnesses the Levensteed soul uh, to empower Electrope in battle. Uh, her ring's a recreation of an imaginary city designed to allow her uh, the full use of her powers. Her bouts are notorious least so dangerous that there isn't even seating for spectators okay that's another one of those uh well she's my sister i'm your second so you go out there you win this well that was kind of my plan i just hope it's uh, a better fight than the than uh, two and three because yeah i'm uh i'll be honest like I'm, I'm not doing two and three again those fights are just not fun point oh i mean oh okay nice Okay, I'm just gonna leave that typed out. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. That's a model. Oh, it's even got a nice song. This is nothing personal, but I must have your soul. Wicked Thunder has returned to the ring. Sat. Uh. Oh, look at that 
Ow! How was I supposed to know she was supposed to fire twice? good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, this fight also has, uh, has a fair bit going on. Um, sidewise spark. Was what? Oh god. Okay, what was the tell for that? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> How are you supposed to tell? Like, why aren't they hitting the, like, part of the arena that's closest to them? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not super fond of this one either. Um, uh, I'll erase you. Oh, God damn it. This is a really finicky fight. I'm not super fond of this one either. Um, Yeah, I, to be honest, I don't think I'll redo, I think the only one that I would redo is the first one. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would bother redoing any of these other ones. Like, the song in this one's really nice, but... But, like, there's a lot of mechanics here that just don't have proper tells for them. Uh... Oh my god, what the fuck?
Yeah, there's a lot going on in this fight. Oh my god, what the fuck? Like, oh my god, what is going... Like... Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm never, I'm never bothering to redo this again. This is bullshit. There's just way too much going on here. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to stand and whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this fight really doesn't, uh, doesn't give you any time. Oh my god, why? Why don't... Fuck sakes! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to everybody in this. Like, I... Yeah... There is just way too much going on that's not properly, uh, you know, that's not properly indicated where stuff's gonna happen, and, you know, I just keep getting hit by it because, you know, heaven forbid, they fucking show you where not to stand before it fucking happens. Uh... Hey, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't think I, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I, in some cases, I'm not even sure why I die, and it's just fucking annoying, like... <laughs> Nice. Damn it. No choice but to withdraw. Okay. Well, good riddance. In a shocking turn of events, Wicked Thunder has fled the ring. Our unstoppable upstart is victorious. Yeah, I'm never I never want to do this again.
I'm actually trying to seem to have the stuff to see in the upper divisions. Hoping to have a word with Utrop, which disappeared again. There's nothing else just to do now. Let's head back to the gym. Watch the fight at home. Wonder what you thought of. Well, everything. Come on, let's head in. Okay. Just noticed the walls glow. Leave during harmed. What a shock to see you troop again and in that manner. Well, hello again. What are you doing here? No matter, I'm not here to fight, but to talk to my sisters. Mountain of questions for you. Why'd you disappear without a word? What exactly have you been doing all this time? Everything in due course, but if you want to live, Yana, uh, you need to give up fighting right now. Well, why? Because if you repeatedly transfigure your flesh with a feral soul, you'll eventually develop psycho, psycho necrosis and irreversible disease where your own soul degrades. Once it's begun, it's too late. All you can do is await death like me. So that's why they retire early. Be true. I knew there were risks, but isn't uh, that why fighters are immortalized so we can get out before it's too late? The server's gone. Have you ever met one of the immortalized? The life of comfort promised that retirement is the lie woven to exploit us and cover up our deaths. I remember all of them. How can it be if they're dead? Rather than new homes, the fighters are taken to a secret facility. There, their regulators are removed, uh, and they are kept in conf confinement until they die. Without their regulator fitted, uh, Everkeep system have no way of detecting their death, nor preserving their memories. I had noticed uh, changes to my body, so I decided to sneak out to seek the counsel of the immortalized. And when I snuck into their uh, into the president's office to ascertain their whereabouts, I discovered the sordid truth. Feared I would become another victim if I remained. And so I disappeared and I began searching for a cure to the illness. Did you find one? I'm going to say no, but... Oh, yep. Uh, in theory, the remedy is another person's soul, but an ordinary, an ordinary one won't do. No, it has to be... Uh, uh, surpassingly dense. Surpassingly? I don't... Hmm. Like yours, I bear you no ill will, but you're my only hope of survival. Rather than ambush you in the city and cause a disturbance, I challenged you in the ring, certain I would claim my prize. Yeah, you're not the first to try. Uh, I knew the president wouldn't pass up the opportunity for a thrilling match. Uh, but I had become weaker than I'd realized. It's the only reason we're having this conversation now. Next time, I will have your soul. Even if it's to save yourself, you can't just take the soul of another. It isn't right. It's easy for you to say you, you don't live with the knowledge that every single moment your soul is being eaten away. And look at that, the evil Lalafell just conveniently sitting outside waiting. Give the intrusion, I've come to see how you're referring after your sister's sudden appearance overheard something most distressing. You didn't know either, despite your position in Ascension Arcadia. Had I known, I assure you, I would not uh, commentate with such enthusiasm. No, you would. All of you Lalas are evil. Um, uh, it was... It was uh, 
in the belief that our fighters were safe that I enjoyed my work. Uh, there's only one thing to do. We make the truth public and stop the fights. Uh, I don't want anyone else to suffer. Oh no, that's the worst thing we could possibly do. The president shows no mercy to those who get in his way. Yeah, like a real Lala. Uh, should we go public with his secret? No one would be safe, not you, me, or any of the fighters. The Eutrope has kept silent, I suspect, is because she understood this. Suppose you're right. In hindsight, uh, it's because he's uh, such a ruthless man that he could cover up the disease, I believe. We have but one recourse. Of course. Vera, you must rise to the very summit of the Arcadian and become the Grand Champion. You see, the Grand Champion is granted access to all the souls in our repository. While it wouldn't be the intended purpose of its privilege, you would be at liberty to release them. Thus, by getting rid of all feral souls left, the fighters would no longer be at risk. Uh, with the skill you've displayed thus far, you that faith you can do it. Okay, that's not a good idea. That's a good idea. Good, good. Now, it would garner suspicion if I linger too long, so I shall take my leave, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, go do more evil lala things. As you recall, I can't fight uh, any matches for a while, and given what I know now, it's just as well. Uh, uh, but I'll, of course, continue to support you as I can. At the same time, Naruni and I... Oh, Nayuni and I'll uh, undertake our own search for a cure for us. Uh, yeah, psychonecrosis. Uh, there has to be a way to save our sister without sacrificing you or anyone else. I know some people who might be able to help, but... They don't get to do much this expansion, so... <laughs> mm, pardon me. Also, uh, some of them live on another planet, but we're gonna, you know, I'm not gonna bore you with that. To be honest, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. Put on a brave face for any uni's sake, but the truth is I'm terrified. I'm really glad to have you uh, with us in this. Uh, this has become more than just a fighting competition, uh, but for the sake of our goal, uh, we'll have to go along with it. Uh, so come and find me here when it's time to begin your cruiserweight campaign. I'm not sure where that is. Hmm? Most eager to talk to you. Oh, hi. Who the hell are you? Oh, yeah. You're the weird one. Proper introduction is in order. Gabro. And I am a cartoonist that is a storyteller in the medium of art. My works are inspired by the battles in the Arcadian, and I'd love nothing more to chronicle your journey, the unstoppable upstart. So available nearby. Have a moment to share your tales. Okay. Tremendously popular. Um, the fact that he wants to tell a story about you is proof of your popularity. You could do worse than have a chat with him. Okay. Uh. Spell speed. Even though I probably don't want it. That's, I mean... I don't know what I would do with any of the other ones. I don't play tank. Okay. So. Um, thoughts on this tier. Um, I'll say, like, everything looked amazing. Um, I did like the uh, the theme for uh, M4, I think it is. Uh, Wicked Thunder, or Acadian 4, or whatever uh, it's supposed to be called. Um but I'll be honest, um, as fights for the first time, um, really only the first one was really friendly to going in blind. Um, now that's kind of harsh, but it's also like that was my experience, right? There was 
a lot going on in two through four that just made them really brutal to the point where I'll be quite honest, I will probably never do two through four again um, because they're just I just too much going on that you can't avoid right or there's too much going on that it's just not properly indicated where you're supposed to stand or uh you know how you're supposed to avoid something without like precognition almost to know oh don't stand there when he does blank or like during the brute bomber thing he summons nine bombs that all look the same but apparently two of them don't blow up and it's like well how the fuck am i supposed to know what that you know what that means but anyways uh like I'm enjoying the uh, story, such it is, such such as it is so far. But uh, like I said, um, to, not to you know, not to rain on anybody's parade, because you know, uh, not a lot of you watch this anyway. But uh, I uh, I have no plans to ever step foot in Savage for anything. So um, if you uh, are holding out hope for that, you're uh, gonna need to hold that for. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna look at my watch here. Uh, yeah, a long while. Um, but anyways, I, I did enjoy it, but, um, yeah, like I said, it, it is a little unfortunate that, um, um, I don't really feel like, uh, redoing any of the fights except the second, or the, uh, the first one is, uh, really worth it, but, um, to each their own, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that'll be the end of my thoughts.